Did you know that the program or developers spend up to 30% of their time on non-programming related work during their typical work day or work week? Now, this could be a, an administrative sort of work or documenting or brainstorming the ideas or debugging. But it is very important as a programmer that you are effective at these different works so that you can maximize your efficiency. And so in this video tutorial series, I would like to show you some of the must have tools in your toolbox as a developer to make you an effective and productive programmer. And so here are some of the tools that we are going to take a look. And so today we are going to look at GreenShot, which is a screen capture tool uh, to document or for issue or bug or support related screenshots. So let's get started. Now we are going to look into all these details. What is it used for? How you can download and install? Uh, how you can set it up and some preferences? And then we will also look into what are the common screenshot tasks that you can use it with? And then what to do after capturing the screenshot? We will take a look into that as well. And, and we'll also spend a good amount of time in one of the very powerful feature of GreenShot, which is this image editor. And so before uh, just sending any screenshot to somebody else, you can edit that and then add you know arrows and, and rectangle and, and numbers and number of things that can really help uh, uh, your colleague. And then we'll also spend a little bit of time on what are the other alternative to it. So let's start. Uh, the very first is what is it used for? Now, if you guys are already familiar with a little bit of GreenShot, then you can skip. I'm going to add a timestamp on each of these section. And so just, just browse to the, the video and then skip to the section that you are already aware of. So GreenShot is basically a screenshot tool. If you want to capture some part of the screen, the, the computer screen, and uh, you would like to send it to somebody else or you want to save it uh, for future references. It can also be known as snipping tool. In fact, Windows itself has a default snipping tool. Uh, if you actually go to start menu and you search for snip, you can see that there is a snipping tool. Uh, and many people do use this to take a screenshot. While uh, this tool is pretty good, but it is pretty limiting. And so that is the reason why if you are taking screenshot quite often, then I would recommend to use GreenShot instead of uh, Snipping tool. It is extremely useful as a program or a developer when you want to, you know, send some kind of a direction or, or steps to for the support or to your colleagues. You can quickly take a screenshot and and then send it to anybody. I use it all the time. In fact, it is one of the tools that I use the most apart from my typical programming tools. And so it is It is really handy. Now let's go ahead and download and install it. And then we'll go into more detail. Now it's very easy to actually install it. Just Google for GreenShot. And usually it shows up right on the top, this getgreenshot.org. It is free and open source software, so don't pay for it. Uh, just go to downloads. <coughs> and just the typical stable release should be good enough. Now here, if you are using a Mac, uh, they do have a Mac version of it, but you will have to pay for it. Uh, so in this tutorial, we'll mainly looking into Windows operating system. So we'll just download this and we'll start the installation. So as I said, the installation is pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, you just need to go through the typical installation wizard. So accept, go next, next. Now, uh, it does come with number of plugins. Uh, which would uh, actually incorporate GreenShot with any of these tools. I usually don't check these uh, uh, because I would like to, you know, make sure that I, I make the changes to my screenshot before I send it to any of these applications. And so if you're interested, you can check these out. For example, if you have a Dropbox and you would like to send your screenshot to Dropbox, you can check these, uh, which will send your uh, screenshot to Dropbox or Box. I prefer not to use these because you know sometimes you take a screenshot that you don't want automatically to go to certain places. Uh, but it's up to you. And if you would like some other language, you can use that, pick that also. So we are going to set as default English to so go next. And I do always open screenshot right at the window start so that I can take screenshots. So you can keep this checked. If you don't do that, then next time you restart your computer, you will have to open screenshot. And so go next and install. And it shouldn't take really long. It just should be pretty quick. So yep, we have installed GreenShot and I'm going to start that. And so it is actually installed and it is ready. 
Now let's go to setup and preferences. Now when you install GreenShot, it's usually right here in your task bar actually. So this is the GreenShot which is usually located in the task bar. Right click on it and go to preferences. And so there are some basic settings that we are going to take a look at it and then later on probably we might change some more. And so these are uh, the, the most common sort of screenshot task and we'll go into more details in the next section but here right, right there so if you need to remember these hotkeys or a shortcut keys uh, you can use this usually taking a, any regional capture it's, it's usually print screen uh, a key on your keyboard so next is uh, output uh, which is basically uh, where would you like your screenshot to be stored and so default section or default location is desktop, but I would not prefer to keep it on desktop because, you know, more you, more screenshot you take, you know, your desktop will become very messy. And so the better place is either downloads or a pictures folder. It also allows you to set the naming pattern for your, for your uh, screenshot uh, image name. And so here you can take, uh, you know, uh, the date, you, you know, month, uh, year and so on so they have sort of variables that you can define uh, to put it as your file name and so that can, this can be also handy again we'll keep it as it is uh, and later on we will see if you want to change it <coughs> by default it is stored as jpeg and so on or oh, sorry png but you can change it to either jpeg or bitmap or gif or any of these so i just change it to G, uh, jpg the next option is the destination. Uh, so by default, you can set the destination when you take a screenshot to any of these. Uh, or you can keep it dynamic. I usually keep it dynamic and you'll see why. So let's keep it right now and then again come back later on. If you want to print your screenshot, there are some print related settings. Uh, and then, you know, there are more uh, expert sort of setting. Again, I don't touch these. But if you are interested, you can take a look at it. All right. So these are all the setting and preferences the main one is usually the output where you would like your uh, screenshot to go if you save it and the destination part so we have uh, just looked into that all right so let's click ok now the next part is the most common screenshot task so let's go there and so one of the most simplest or most common way of taking screenshot is just using a custom rectangle or a region and the keyboard shortcut is a print screen key. So usually if you have a laptop, it might be uh, that one of the function key can be a print screen key also. So you may have to press function, print screen or something. But if you have a regular keyboard, then there should have a print screen. If not, then you can go to your taskbar, right click on it, and then all these options are right here. You can see capture region. So let's try this. So click on that. And it actually changes the cursor where you can actually select and drag and take your screenshot. So let's say I would like to take this screenshot. And so I drag it, select, and leave it. And so now it gives me an option where would or what do I want to do it. So do I want to save it, save this, this screenshot as an image? Whether I want to save it directly using the preferred output settings that we had set in the preferences? Do I want to open this screenshot in an image editor? Or do I want to just copy it into a clipboard? So let's just, for, for now, let's just do copy to clipboard. And let me open Word. All right, so since it is already in a clipboard, I can do Control V or I can paste. And you can see that it just took that screenshot, right? So again, copy to clipboard keeps it uh, into clipboard until you copy something else, then you may lose it. And so again, you need to remember to make sure that you save that screenshot somewhere. Uh, so the next one is a Windows screen, which is Alt Print Screen. So let's say this is my application here. Let's say I have a word and I would like to take a screenshot of this whole entire window. And so in that case, I can do Alt Print Screen. All right, so again, it gives me an option. What should I do with it? So this time, let's again go to Copy to Clipboard. And let's just save it right here actually so you can see what it did is it actually take the entire screenshot of this window that was open all right so the third option which is actually right here is a full screen mode 
And so basically, let's say you want to take an entire screen of your uh, computer monitor uh, as a capture, uh, then you can just do control print screen. And so I'm going to try that control print screen. And again, it took a screenshot and it gives me an option. So I'm going to again go to copy to clipboard and go to Windows, uh, uh, sorry, Word and paste it. And you can see it actually took the entire screenshot of the whatever you can see on your screen. All right, so let's go back. Uh, and then the, the last one is a capture the last region. So this could be handy when you are taking a screenshot of a particular location and you always want to make sure that you always pick the same size. And so you capture a screenshot and then again, just use the last region so it will make sure that you have the same sort of size for all your screenshot. Uh, for the most part, I think you will be using either print screen or Windows screen. And so these are all the common tasks. Again, there are a keyboard shortcut associated with all of these. And so just try to remember these. And once you get used to it, it'll be just a second nature. And you should be able to just take screenshot without thinking much about those screen, uh, those keyboard shortcuts. All right, so let's go to the next section. Uh, what to do after taking a screenshot. And so we have already looked into copy to clipboard. But you can also, when you take a screenshot, either directly save it as an image or save it an image with a default setting or open it in a green shot editor. So let's try. I'm going to take a, just a simple screenshot here. And this time I'm going to do save as. Okay. And so you can see it just gave me an option where or what or how do I want to save it. And so I'm going to call this test one. And it just saved that that screenshot as test1.jpg. Now let's take another screenshot. So again, I'm going to take a print screen and I'm going to, let's say this time, I'm going to pick this part, right? And it gives me this option. This time, instead of save as, I'm going to do save directly, which will mean that you don't will, or you won't get that uh, pop-up to ask you to, the, to specify the name of the image. It will automatically take that. And so see, it didn't give me any pop-up. If I go to my downloads folder this time, and the reason is, if you remember, the default setting for GreenShot was under downloads folder. So right here, it actually specified uh, the name of the, the screenshot automatically with the timestamp and whatever this uh, uh, name of the application is. So if I double click on it, you can see that it is that screenshot that we just took, right? And so let me take another screenshot in fact let's take a screenshot of this itself so i'm going to press alt print screen and then i'm going to do save directly and you will see that there is a new jpeg file right here it'll show up okay so do date modified and right here you can see it just took the screenshot and set it as a default uh, naming right so right here there is the screenshot so there are a number of things you can do with uh, screenshot once you capture that one of the most useful feature of greenshot is this greenshot editor which allows you to edit your sc uh, screenshot before you know saving it as a jpeg file or sending to clipboard and anything like that and so let's take a look at that so as i said a greenshot image editor is a very powerful and useful uh, image editor and so i'm going to take a screenshot and then we'll go into all these details so let's go ahead and take a screenshot but this time I'm going to say open this in an image editor right here so it opens uh, like a, a simple image editor and now we can annotate these or we can add numbers or we can add shapes and so on and so it actually also captures the the, the cursor I can delete it if I don't like that or I can move them I'm going to delete that so first of all, let's try to annotate something. So right here, if you can see on the uh, left hand sidebar, there's an annotation tool or a, add a text box. And so I'm going to say this. Okay. And so you can see that it actually. Oops. It just annotated or just added a text to 
this screenshot. I can also add a counter. And counter is basically, you know, one, two, three numbers. And many times, let's say you have a screenshot of an application and you would, would like a user to follow the steps, uh, like click this, 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 and so on. In that case, you know, the counter comes really handy. And so right here is an option for counter. So I can click on this and I can say this is my number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and so on. So you can really actually direct your user or, uh, you know, whoever you are sending the screenshot to, to follow uh, steps by adding this counter. Now, at any point of time, any of these additional things that we are adding to the screenshot can be modified. So if I click here, which is a basically a selection tool, and if I click on a particular uh, component or object, let's say this one, you can see that I'm able to pick this and I'm going to move this. Okay, I can also change the numbers. I can change the the image uh, or the, the colors. So for example, let's say I would like to have this color or maybe something else and so on. Uh, even the, 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 the color of the text and so on. You can increase it by number. And if you press shift, actually, it makes sure that it maintains that, uh, you know, circle rather than making it an oval shape and so on. So you can, uh, but uh, you can pick any uh, object that you added uh, using the, the image editor and you can modify. So let's try to add it this. So I'm going to click on this and it seems like it is too big. So I'm going to make it a little small. <clears throat> I can even change the, the background. Well, I should have changed this as well. Uh, you can change the font, size, you know, all kind of things. This, as I said, it is a very powerful image editor. So I can move this, for example, here. Okay. Uh, so we added some text. We added some uh, counters or numbers. Let's add some shape. So often, you know, if you want a user to be pointed to a particular location, you can add a rectangle. So right here is a rectangle. So let's say this is the place where you would like to just add. Uh, I can increase the, th the thickness, as you can see, if you want to have more focus on it. I can also add arrows. So let's pick this arrow, and I'm going to just add an arrow. Another trick is if you press Shift, you know, it'll maintain this horizontal or vertical. I mean, it, and it, it gives a nice angle and so on, rather than just having little crooked line. So you can add this, or you can add something like this and so on. So you can add arrows, you can even scribble your own sort of, you know, if you want a user to focus on certain part, you can do just something like this and so on. It always doesn't look good, so I don't prefer, but rather I use arrows or a rectangle or even circle. As you want to select a circle, you can pick it. If you press a shift key, then it'll make it a nice circle. Otherwise it'll be ellipse. So if I press shift key, then you can make it big or small, as you can see. So let's say this is where I would like. Press selection tool, and then maybe I can move, well, select, and, and move it maybe here, okay? All right, so we looked into different shape. Uh, it can also add some image effects. So for example, let's say I had taken the screenshot image, and I would like to add a, a border. So right here is a border. So you can see it added just a, a, a faint border. You can change it if you want to make it like a drop shadow. And I'm going to click on that and you will see. So it adds this little bit of or a shadow so that it looks good. So in fact, the way in which to check this, if I go to edit and I'll just copy this. In fact, let's go to file and copy to clipboard. And let's go to our word. And I'm going to paste it. So again, it's kind of hard to see, but if you see, there's a little bit of shadow on the edges. So it, it looks a little bit cooler, actually, your screenshot. And so there are different image effects. If you don't like any particular, uh, you know, step that you did, you can go to edit and you can do undo. So now we remove that uh, drop shadow. You can even create a torn image or torn uh, edge. And so you can see it just Many times people like to take a screenshot with the torn edge. Again, it looks a little bit uh, cooler, I guess. Uh, it used to be, I mean, not people don't use that as often. 
but it just gives a nice little uh, you know effect to your screenshot okay and a uh, grayscale if you want to invert the colors it, it can do that and so on so again there are a lot of different features uh, regarding the image effect now there might be a time where you would like to hide a particular uh, you know part of the screenshot or a blur or it's also called confiscate and so there is a feature for that is right here and so let's say I, I don't want anybody to look at this particular part so I can just select this and you can see it just blurs this image I tend to do it at least two three times so that you know nobody can detect so I'll go and I'll try one more time so select go to blur and now it's kind of hard to basically decipher what it is uh, if you don't like uh, if you don't want to I mean if there is something really important that you don't want anybody else to see then I would rather actually just block this with a rectangle block so I can do this I can just put it here and then I can just say fill color to be the same for example red and it's now blocked there is no way anybody can see what was behind it right uh, but if you want to confiscate or blur a certain part of the, the screenshot, you can actually use that also. Uh, then again, highlighting is also another feature that you can use to direct the, the focus of, of your user to a particular part of the screenshot. So for example, if you want to focus here, then you can see it actually uh, created a highlight here. And then there are other options. So as I said, there is there's very powerful uh, tool. Uh, image editor of Greenshot is one of the, the best tool uh, for editing a screenshot before sending it to somebody else or saving it. Now all the options that we saw is already here. So if I go to file, I can save it as wherever I want. I can save this now modified uh, uh, you know, image to its default settings, uh, which I just did. <coughs> I can print it. I can copy to clipboard. So let's do copy to clipboard. Go back to our word. And then paste it and you can see all the all the additional thing that we did with the screenshot are all here and so it gives a really nice uh, feel to the existing screenshot so as, as we looked into the details of this uh, uh, image editor uh, greenshot has a very powerful image editor and it's one of the best feature of greenshot that is the reason I use greenshot more often than any other screenshot uh, tool and so make sure that you use that uh, and try these out. Uh, so let's finally look at some of the alternatives. And so there is a window snipping tool as we just saw earlier, which you can use. Uh, but again, it is a little bit limited. Uh, Sharex is another uh, a screen capture tool that is out there. It's I think it's free, and uh, but uh, there are certain feature of it. I used to use Sharex before, but it has a little bit of a interesting feature where it can send your screenshot directly to uh, some of the image sharing site and the, the settings were always a little uh, difficult to understand and so if you're working on an important part of you know at work and so on you don't want your screenshot to automatically post it somewhere and so that's why i stopped using it but you can try it out if you are interested and then snag it is again been there for a very long time as an image capturing tool probably it has a video capture as well but it is a paid version so you can pay for it <clears throat> but greenshot by far is one of the most common tool that developers use and so i hope you learned a lot about greenshot uh, like how to install it what are the settings uh, how you can take different kind of screenshot and what you can do with it and we spend also a considerable amount of time on image editor and so if you like this video please click on the like button and if you would like to see similar videos uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I post new videos about uh, the tools that really helps developers. And so if you like the content that I'm producing, please uh, make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you click on the bell icon uh, so that you get notified. And so I hope you like this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.